Hello everyone, this is John Bishop, and I want to talk a little bit about the WordPress HTML editor as opposed to the visual editor. I know most of you have become accustomed to using the visual editor, and that's fine. I even recommend it because it encourages um, good accessibility practices when inserting images and links. It also gives you a lot more options than the HTML editor gives you uh, as far as adding, inserting quick tags go. So if you can edit a Word document or an email, you can edit posts in WordPress effectively using the visual editor. I just think it's important to understand the HTML elements that the visual editor utilizes so that you can go and you know fix small problems yourself and even once you have a better understanding, you can create better looking posts. So diving right in, um, it's pretty self-explanatory as just as if you're using the visual editor, you highlight the words you want to use and click the link, click what you want to do. So as I said before, uh, no longer do we use the B tag uh, to make things bold. Instead, we use the strong tag because it gives it more weight. Same things with italics. We don't use the I anymore. We use uh, the EM, I mean, which means emphasis. So strong is usually a little more, is, strong is more emphasized than italic, um, but both give text a little bit more weight. Making something a link, same thing. Highlight it, click on link and uh, type your link in there. Uh, something I do not like about this is it does not encourage putting a title in with your link, whereas the front end visual editor does. So when you're editing links, maybe it's good to do it in the visual editor and then fix any problems you see in the HTML editor. Uh, something cool that the HTML editor allows you to do is uh, remove individual pieces of text and update it with new pieces of text. And WordPress does that, and most HTML sites do that, with using the delete and insert tags. So um, down here I've written the world is flat. Well no. Uh, I thought the world was flat at the time of writing this so I'm going to delete this and I now know the world is round. So I can click uh, the insert button there. And now on the front end visual editor you'll see the world is flat and note is round. Um, you'll see in between that I've written something awesome I'm saying here and I want to emphasize this in my post so I can use the block quote functionality I talked about earlier and usually this will indent the text a little bit um, as you can see here it basically does exactly what it says it emphasizes the text by pushing it inwards and uh, W3C recommends wrapping the text in quotes but a lot of people have used block quotes just to simply indent their text so you'll see a bunch of different implementations of the block quote Next you'll see I have three items listed underneath each other. Uh, it's a lot easier to make items into a list using the visual editor. If I clicked this button right here, I would be instantly inside the visual editor, but nope. Uh, I use the HTML editor here and it's a bit more complicated. First I'm going to select all of my tags and I'm going to wrap them inside a, to an ordered list. And then I have to select each of the elements individually and say that they are individual list items. And now if I look at my visual editor you'll see I have it in an ordered list. And one more thing I want to go over is uh, the confusion about paragraphs and line breaks. Uh, you'll see here that technically WordPress is considering this one paragraph with a line break after bold putting italic in the next line. Um, I can make that uh, two separate paragraphs just by adding two line breaks in the HTML editor which WordPress interprets as two separate paragraphs. Um, and getting it back to one, par one, one paragraph with a line break is hard uh, in the visual editor but if you go to the HTML editor you move a line break and now you have one paragraph with a single line break. Uh, the reason for this is WordPress strips out all the paragraphs and line breaks um, inside, the visual, or inside the HTML editor and uh, replaces them when it's delivering the content on the front end. So uh, it can be kind of tricky, but it makes the HTML a lot easier to read in the HTML editor. That's all I can say about that. So I hope you learned a thing or two. Uh, please subscribe to my blog if you like this and leave any comments with any questions or any additional thoughts you might have.